Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all beaters, and Chris and Stewie and me, that, uh, that means you guys. Welcome back to the Buzz Lightyear of Star Command Let's Play. And if you didn't know, if you're just joining me for the first time, Kuska, Patrick Warburton does the voice of Buzz Lightyear in this game for some reason, Kuska. I mean, Peter! I mean, Yzma! Have you tried my, my world-famous spinach buffs? Squeak, squeak, or squeak, squeak. I'll teach you how to play squ- Okay, enough of that shit. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and yada yada yada. We are once again back with episode, what is this, four? Of the Buzz Lightyear of Star Command Let's Play. And I'm gonna just go ahead and jump right into it, because this is, a. Uh, uh, I lost my train of thought right off the bat, but, uh, yeah, we're returning back to Karn for yet another mission and another layout of the, um, uh, map. So, yeah, let's go ahead and listen to what this guy has to say, and we'll jump into the level. Screel. Alright, I guess that was, uh, that was it? <laughs> oh, okay, so, oh, cutscene. Pretty short ass cussing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, didn't really have the budget to extend that cutscene. Sky. Wow, that voice does not suit this character design at all. I don't know. I kind of expected like a very like noble sounding voice. He kind of looks like an owl. Kind of just looks like a, a creepier version of like the great owl from The Secret of Nim. <laughs> Which already looked kind of creepy, but this guy. Uh, no. Uh, he's incredibly slow. I guess uh, every level from now on has bombs in it that you have to defuse, slash, just shoot so they explode. But causing them to explode makes them so they don't go off and destroy the planet? I, d I don't know. It it's logic that this game is following. This game just throws... I I've said this before, but this game just throws a shit ton of crap at you. Like, at all times. And... In all honesty, because I've said that like when I was a little kid, I wanted this game, but I never got it. I think as a kid, I probably wouldn't have liked this game. Because like this game does not encourage exploration. It just encourages you rushing through the level, dodging everything. And when I was a little kid, uh, games that let you explore were games that I really enjoyed. Like I even never really like um, paid like that much attention to like much attention to like the main objective. I just kind of uh, explored around and whatnot. Like the, the Jimmy Neutron game, uh, even though if you just follow the main objective, you can just speed run the crap out of it, like beat it in 30 minutes, like I actually had before. But as a kid, I kind of just like walked around Retroville. I just kind of like uh, just looking around and exploring and seeing the places that like the characters and the shows go to. But this right here doesn't really encourage that. It just kind of encourages you rushing through everything. Can I actually walk up this hill? Oh yeah, I can. <laughs> Uh, uh, no momentum. Why is it like that? Because you can, like, barely make it up there. <laughs> this game just turned into Skyrim. I missed a bomb. Wait, did I miss a bomb? I, ah, uh, shit, I don't know. Because if you miss one, then you have to, like... Uh, I don't know if it's ahead of me, or... Why is this like this? Jesus Christ, man. You can, like, barely make it up there. The physics barely allow you to get up there. I think I'm gonna miss the bomb. If so, then that means I gotta restart the mission. I'm stuck in the fucking water, and these guns keep on shooting me down, so I can't jump back, uh, jump back out of it. And yeah, we gotta restart the mission. Wonderful. Oh, we was on like the edge of the thing. You can barely even see that when you pass it. It's like the angle of the camera, whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, hit this. Do it again. Got a. Uh, catch the uh, the great owl's uh, deformed stepson, or I don't know, cousin. Surrender now, Skrill. Surrender now, Skrill. At the name of the Goog Police Station. <laughs> I must say, this game hasn't been giving me that many things to say about it. Because the Jimmy Neutron game that I played, it was like spectacularly bad. It was just lazy and. The game itself was just like horrible. This right here. Matter of fact, I, I think I've actually already gone over this. Uh, 
let me get that green guy. But yeah, this game right here just kind of feels kind of tedious. There's not really much to say when things are just tedious, but you know, I gotta try my best. Now I'm being straight up honest with you right now. I'm really grabbing at straws at things to say about this game. I'm I'm repeating all my my Patrick Warburton jokes. I'm saying things that I've said a million times over. I'm just saying crap right now. Just just keeping on saying stuff so the video doesn't seem boring. <laughs> These walls look like cheese. That's something. <laughs> so let's, let's 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 talk about cheese. Um, put in the comments below. Like, share, and subscribe if you like cheese. Uh, personally, my favorite cheese is uh, mozzarella. I actually like it very much on grilled cheese sandwiches. I um, Texas toast and then Kraft American singles, and then uh, I guess get some like some like deli mozzarella cheese. I get mine from Giant Eagle, so delicious. It just um, doesn't really add that much flavor-wise, but it just gives like the cheese that extra pull and just mmm. This mozzarella is kind of a tame. Touching the bomb hurts me. Wow, the mozzarella itself is a pretty tamely flavored cheese when compared to like some more uh, strong like cheddar, uh, gouda, blue cheese, which I, which I honestly don't like. So I'm not very much of a salad person. Uh, but if you like it, that's okay. Why the fuck am I still talking about cheese? <laughs> Do you see what I mean here? Oh, I thought that was like a thing I had to grab. I'm really grabbing at straws. <laughs> the fine things to say about this game, other than what I've already said about it, it's tedious. It's, um... The graphics don't look that bad for its era. It's a PS1 era game. It's actually made in the year 2000. Uh, and, of course, Patrick Warburton voices bug, uh, bugs. B he voices... Yeah, I voice bugs funny. Yeah. Uh, what's up, Doc? What's up, Doctor? What? What's up, Peter? <laughs> but yeah, I'm just running out of things to say. Me saying that I'm running out of things to say is something that I've already said a million times over. I, so yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna get through this level. Maybe I'll bring up cheese again. I don't know, because it's gotten to the point where I have to talk about things other than the game to make this video entertaining. Uh, hmm, which in turn is, uh, oh, I made it to the boss battle. Sweet. I got this one, Buzz. Yeah. Thanks, Mira. Mira, uh, Mirror, I guess, is her name. Wow, this guy's screech sound effect, or his, like, hurt sound effects are just incredibly annoying. But I have a yellow gun. Uh, I don't have any guns other than the one I'm carrying right now. I gotta shoot his shield so I can get more coins. And then I can grab the yellow gun so I can take out his first shield. Uh, where the fuck did you go? Ow. Jesus. Oh my goodness. They, they couldn't have told this voice actor to take like one more take. From doing like that pain sound effect. Cause it stands out like a sore fucking thumb. <laughs> Listen to it. Okay, green gun. I will say for a game that throws a crap ton at you, at least you can take like 50,000 hits before you die. Shut the fuck up. Actually, I'm gonna collect some of these coins, because I think if you get like enough coins, you get like an extra half of metal or something. Uh, they're disappearing before I'm able to grab them. Whatever, I'll just go ahead and end the level, because this guy is just super annoying. You have a sword? I don't know why you're not using your sword. But, uh... And once again, the camera, like last episode, phased through a wall or something. <laughs> I grab enough coins, not even nearly enough to get that medal. But I got the little green guy medal, so that's pretty cool. I was going to talk about something before the boss battle came, but uh, I forgot what I was talking about. Uh, which kind of sucks. But uh, let's go ahead and hit up Ice World. I'm trying to think of like an Arnold Schwarzenegger joke to go with that. So, wow, this guy... I'm afraid to see what he looks like in the game. <laughs> okay, Ranger. There's a spike in the energy field that's driving our LGMs crazy down here, and they've tracked the source down to some sort of plasma. What does the LGM stand for? I need you to bring this big boy in. Uh, now, fuck. a laser guided missile. There, I just I thought of it. Oh, dude, if he's actually that big in the game, this will be fucking epic. Tell me he's that big in the game. 
If so, this might actually be fun. <gasps> uh, <laughs> well, he's not like the size of a building like they depicted him. He's uh, not really big. Maybe like two or three feet taller than Buzz actually is. And he's kind of fat. It's kind of hard to get past him. He just kind of looks like... Oh man, I'm thinking I'm thinking back to like Mother 3. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! <laughs> oh shit. Apparently there's, there's pits that you can fall in. And it's really slidey. But uh... Like the, the, the clay men, I think? Like the people who like... The pig army made to like work at like the Chimera factory? They were like people like made out of clay or something? I don't know, he kind of looks like one of those. Oh, so like, I'm gonna go ahead and just get in front of this guy as soon as possible so I don't have to deal with him. But, um, yeah. He kind of looks like one of those guys. And screw the little green man. This, this place is. Shit, bomb, bomb, gotta get the bomb! Gotta get the bomb! Got it. Okay, this place is like way too fucking slidey. Holy shit. Okay, I really gotta keep my eyes peeled for these bombs. There's just so much to freaking doing these levels yet yeah, it's just like repeating the same things over and over again and once again I'm repeating myself again <laughs> I gotta keep my eyes peeled for these bombs I'm probably gonna avoid using the snowboards or the hoverboards whatever the fuck they are because the guy's pretty slow anyway and it's really easy to slide and lose grip because of the, uh, the ice I'm not even gonna try to get you you're stranded pal <laughs> sorry uh, that was a pretty big area I hope I didn't miss a bomb doesn't look like I did. Okay, there's a bomb right there, so I don't think they're usually that close together on the map. Even when, even when you're in the air, you fucking slide around. It's weird. Uh, 35. Uh, where can I go from here? Uh, okay. I'm not gonna make this jump. Nope. Oh, I made it. <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> Freaking buzz. Freaking... Got moves, fucking savage. Am I missing a bomb? I think I'm not reaching one yet. Grab the ledge! Thank you. Whew. Didn't know he could do that, but this is actually pretty hard. Alright, hopefully this is the one that's ticking. Uh, yes, it's the one that's ticking. Sweet. This guy's ahead of me, but not by much, so. We're, we're still keeping up. I don't think shooting him slows him down at all. He's still pretty slow. So I'll be able to pass him as long as, long as I can get past his fucking fat ass. I just kind of phased through the snow there for a second. Okay, let me move for like two seconds. Is there a bomb or something around here? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this thing. Okay, so I can grab like the gold coins and get some better guns on my way. Wow, even, though, even when those things are broken, they still hurt me when I touch them. Ugh. I don't know. Yes, give me the rocket launcher. No, don't slide off the thing, please. That's... Oh, that's ice. Okay. I can tell you right now, that's not a real-time reflection, though. That's, um... Just like the, the level is self-mirrored. And, uh... Or not mirrored, but like... That part of the level kind of rendered upside down underneath that. I know, what I'm, I know what I'm talking about. I've seen that method used in, like, Tony Hawk. Um, American wasteland. Uh, oh, you just have—I'm not—you just have a green and a, whoa. Should I s stay away from standing on that thing? So it—it it was shaking. Will it break? I don't know. I'm gonna—I'm gonna avoid it. I wish this camera would turn when I turn. I'm gonna use my bazooka. Boom. And boom. Okay. Uh, boom. There we go. Another mission down. I am a fucking savage at this game. <laughs> like if this was like a competitive esport, uh, I would be like the, I would be like the, uh, I, I can't think of a, fuck, I, I can't think of a Counter Strike player, but uh, I would be the Chronovi of that. <laughs> oh, I appreciate a commander. Uh, I don't think they've said his name, but I know he's the commander dude. Yeah, I couldn't think of a CSGO professional player to mention there, so I just thought of, like, the, the only Rocket League pro I could think of. 
I'm pretty savage at Rocket League, too. Uh, I've been working on, like, a frag video putting together, but uh, sadly, the video shadow play has been being the glitchy, the glitchy piece of shit that it is. So, until I get, like, uh, Adobe Premiere or something uh, to edit my videos in, because for some reason the Shadow Play video files just don't work with the ver version of Sony Vegas I got. Uh, but y yeah, I'll be able to like edit together a, a super MLG Rocket League montage of my dank ass goals and fuck. Uh, so yeah, two missions down and one uh, episode. I'll go ahead and do it for this uh, part four. Join us next time. For part 5 of the Buzz Lightyear of Star Command PC game Let's Play, Peter. <laughs> Where I'll be making the same stupid fucking joke. That the voice of, of Joe Swanson from Family Guy and also Krog from the Emperor's New Groove. Does the voice of Buzz Lightyear in this game because, well, I'm running out of things to say about this game. Peter. But, uh, if you join me for, if, if you like, share, and subscribe, Goose Girl, I'll give you some of my world-famous spinach buffs, and I'll, I'll, I'll teach you how to speak squirrel. Squeaker, squeak, squeak, squeaketh. You have stolen my art. Later. I'll see you later. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm kind of getting tired of my own jokes here. <laughs> uh, see you next episode. Bye.